Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be going over a little bit of a tutorial for a tool that I've created for streamers out there, allowing you to completely customize the look of your on-stream chat overlay. Now, as you can tell, I've not uploaded the videos in a little bit of a while because things have been changing. We're in the new studio now, but there's still gonna be some more changes coming your way. So stay tuned for all of that later on in a few months down the line as well. But without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? So the first thing you're going to want to do is head into whichever overlay editor you're going to be using. You can use either Stream Elements or Stream Labs with this tool. And for this example, we're going to use Stream Elements. So first of all, we're going to click on New Overlay when we go to Overlays in our dashboard. And what we're going to do is if we know the exact dimensions of the chat, we're going to set up a custom resolution. We're going to set the width to 320 and the height to about 700. And we're going to start that and we're going to save this. So what we want to do is we want to rename the overlay in the top left and we're just going to call it chat over overlay. And we're going to save that right now. After then, we're going to add a widget. We're going to come down here to the bottom, look at stream tools and then go to your streams chat. Inside here, we then want to say position and size on the left hand side and make this the same width and the height as the canvas, which is 320 by 700. We're then going to go back up to settings and then for the theme, we're going to select custom. The other things we can have is show message permanently, which I do recommend. You can have the messages are delayed by two seconds or you can have them instantaneously as well. And we've got to make sure the background color is completely transparent, which it is. Once we've done this, we click on save at the top right. And then we've got a link here that we're going to copy over on the top right. And after this, we're going to go into OBS. Now that we're in OBS, we're going to add a new source to our scene for the chat overlay. So we're just going to go down to sources, click plus, click browser source. And we're going to call this chat overlay. Inside here, what we want to do is copy the URL that we have just copied from Stream Elements. And then within our width, we're going to have 320 and in our height, 700. Click OK. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm also going to put this into the center so it's a lot easier to see. So we're just going to say center to screen by edit transform. And to make sure this is working, then go into your Twitch chat and start typing out some, some things that could possibly show up. And there we go, we can see it coming in. Obviously the text is black, it's not gonna be very visible right now, uh, but we know at least that the, the messages are coming through as they are appearing on the screen right now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, go across to the chat styler. So what you want to do guys is you want to head to chatstyler.colinhorn.co.uk and inside here you're going to find a couple of tools on the left hand side, some code that you're going to copy and paste into OBS and some live visual representations of exactly what your chat's going to look like. So for example here we've got some general settings which we can show and hide the badges of your chat. You can choose whether or not for the messages to fade in or fade out, in and out. Our spacing is representative between the username and the actual message itself. So if you increase that, that's gonna increase the margins of the username and the actual message. And the margins themselves is gonna change the spacing between each message. If you want to reset these things, just double click on each item and that will reset them. We then also have some settings for rotation um, across X, Y, and Z axis to create a 3D look if you want to. The X axis obviously tilts it up and down. The Y axis kind of rotates it back and forth. And the Z axis actually rotates it kind of fully around. So with these tools, like I said, you're able to create quite a much more 3D-esque kind of looking chat. But like I said, we're going to keep it nice and simple for this example. Down here, um, we're going to have the... Actually, we're gonna have the hide badges. We're gonna hide the badges on this example. Down here, we've got the different fonts that you can select for the username. Um, and here, you're gonna see exactly what they're gonna look like when they get um, brought through. So right now, let's just go with, um, let's just go with a nice bold font for this. So, so we're gonna go with Anton. We're gonna make the color, let's make it white for the time being. So we'll click on white, username background. Now you can put in any hex code that you want in, inside here at the bottom, instead of transparent. So you could literally, if you know your exact brand colors or anything like that, you can do that there. But for this example, I'm just gonna choose the nice green. We then can change the different font size as well of this, change the font weight if, um, if you wanna go bolder. Some of the fonts may not have all the exact same weights because uh, it depends on the font family that you do pick. We can then select some more padding so we can pad this username out a little bit more. And let's add a nice little border radius onto it too. Inside the chat message, you're able to select the different fonts at the exact same too. So let's uh, select Able. So it's a nice thin font as we can see here at the top. And the message color, we're gonna have this as a background as well. So we're gonna have that as a white, but the message background, we're gonna have that as a nice blue. 
exact same side of things here as well. We can select the different font sizes if you want to increase or decrease that. But we're going to keep it at the default 16 for the sake of this. And then in the padding, we're going to add some more padding in. And then let's just increase the border radius a little bit. Now, the kind of nice thing that you can do here is, as you can see, these are a little bit split up. So what we're going to do is in the spacing, we're going to decrease this to allow the, allow the username just to kind of hover over a little bit of this chat message here. And pretty much that's as easy as it is for this to actually work. All we have to do now is, since we've got the stream elements overlay, we're going to copy that, wait for that to be copied, and then we're going to head back into OBS. As you can see here, we still got our usernames uh, popping up here, but what we're going to do is we're going to right click on chat overlay, go to properties, and inside this custom CSS box here, at the very, very bottom, we're going to copy this code in. That's all you need to do. Just select all, delete what was there already, put in the code and click OK. This is then going to refresh the browser source. And after then, all we need to do is to paste in a few messages just to make sure that it's working and make sure it's going to pop up the exact way that we hope it does. And there we go. And it's as easy as that, as simple as that to, to completely customize the look of your chat using the chat styler. And if you're a little bit unsure of exactly what theme you kind of want off the bat, I've created a couple of presets down at the bottom. And all you need to do is just click either the Streamlabs icon or the Stream Elements icon. This will copy the code to your clipboard. You go back into OBS and paste it in the exact same way. And it's as easy as that. If you do use the chat styler, don't forget to at me on Twitter. My link will be down in the description below. I can't wait to see what you guys make using this tool to create a much more versatile overlay for your own stream without the bung down necessity of the default styles of most of the services of Streamlabs and Stream Elements. But if you like the video, guys, don't forget to like the video. If you want to follow the channel, please subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with some more videos for helping streamers out there. And on top of that as well, we're live every single Wednesday here playing some Apex Legends. I'm also live over on twitch.tv forward slash C0 Linhorn. And basically over there, we play any sort of games. It's mostly on Tuesdays and Thursdays that we do. And I'm also on kick as well, which is kick.com forward slash Colin Horn, which is just the normal way of spelling it. There is a lot of streaming services out there. The competition is wide open, but... That discussion is for another video. Until then, I hope you have an absolute fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you then.